Know that you are right to reserve your friendship from those who are mean to others, and find people who support you in that. And in cases of cyberbullying through texts or websites, get help immediately. Tell someone in authority, like a parent, teacher, or police officer, and encourage your friends who are being cyberbullied to do the same. No one should have to deal with the psychological torture and unchecked aggression, and there are ways to make this stop. Having had to deal with these issues, Brielle turned to Faith to help her combat hostility aimed at her. Next, she shares how she grew in her relationship with God during her struggle with bullying. And how it helped her to guide a friend going through a similar situation. When I was feeling alone, I felt God was definitely in my presence and He helped me and He helped me see the light and like get the strength to you know move on and ignore them and not listen to them. God definitely helped me believe that I am the person I am and not what they were making me seem to be. They would call me ugly and everything but this is the way God made me and that's how I am and I learned to love myself and not listen to what they have to say about me and I could care less what they think about me. God helped me through and God was there for me. I think faith can really help a person get through it. Like it definitely helped me, like praying. I would ask God, like, what can I do to make this stop? And I felt like he responded to me and helped me. And recently, my friend was walking through the hallways and this girl decides to pour water all over her for no reason. And this really hurt my friend. Like she was like, oh my gosh, what did I do that would make this girl come up to me in school and completely embarrass me? And I was like, listen, Really, don't listen to what that girl has to say to you. Tell the principal, listen to God, he'll help you, and you'll get through this. And she listened to me, and everything's settled now. And I think that God helped her through it. Through the experience, I learned how to handle situations like that. So when I saw my friend being put in a bad situation, I was able to help her and tell her what to do, and I guided her. So how has your faith guided you in overcoming bullying? I think our faith has guided us in overcoming bullying by, I know somewhere in the Bible, it mentions something about turning the other cheek. If someone's like coming at you and like saying stuff about you, just turn the other cheek. It's almost like let it roll off your back and just know that they obviously need to be prayed for. So just take the high road, basically. You could also take it where it tells you not to bully, like do unto yourself, do unto your neighbor as you would have done unto yourself. So like don't hurt others if you don't want to get hurt yourself. Another example from the Bible would be have to be St. Paul because St. Paul, you know, he persecuted Christians and then he became a Christian himself, which teaches us that maybe bullies also need that second chance and they need the forgiveness of the victims. With my brother and I, it's not only him who picks on me and teases me, but I can also do that to him and it makes me a bully and I have faith that I can try to stop being a bully to him and I can gain the character to pray and stop being a bully to him and it doesn't matter if he still does it to me, I know I can be proud that I can stop doing it to him. Yeah, um, I actually like really agree with Brielle because I went through like the same thing that she did basically and um, I like used prayer to like be able to like stand up to the bullies like when they were mean to me so. And also, like I said before, um, when I stood up to that girl who was bullying the other girl, I mean, it was really my faith that guided me to do that because I knew that it was wrong and that you should respect everyone and not, you know, push them around because they're weaker. I know when I was younger, there was a kid in school. He wasn't really popular. He wasn't really well liked. And there's a point where I contributed to the bullying. And I guess looking back now, I see that I wish, wish that I had had the faith to overcome that and not stoop to a bully's level. In Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians, he writes, We urge you, brothers, admonish the idle, cheer the faint-hearted, support the weak, be patient with all. See that no one returns evil for evil. Rather, always seek what is good for both each other and for all. When anyone is treated poorly for any reason, whether because they are different or because they think differently, whether they can be regarded as weak in some way or just because a bully finds them easy to pick on, Bullying is wrong and goes against God's ideas for humanity. Next, we ask the teens on the street how faith helps someone being bullied. Let's check it out. 
Someone's religious faith can help them if they're being bullied by asking a guy what to do if they don't know what to do in that type of situation. If they don't know to walk away, then they can ask their parents or friends for advice on what to do and either maybe even talk to that person too about how to make them stop. God will lead you through, I guess. Bullies will have their day when God understands where they're coming from and they're going to see the light too. Well, they can just pray and like just go with what they feel they should do. If you pray, I'm sure God will help you through that way. Just look to God and know who He's there. Well, I mean, if you have faith, you know, it's like it's if you want to have faith in yourself and faith in what you believe in, and it's just it's kind of a form of support for you. Faith is like something you can believe in and hold on to. It's something that's like real and like it's inside, you know. I guess faith just shows you how to be a good person, and then that you don't have to bring other people down to make yourself feel better about yourself. They can just always believe that some someone's gonna help them. Like their life is okay. When people are getting bullied, they gotta look at the whole story of Jesus Christ. Cause how you know what I mean? How he took the uh, physical and emotional beatings and just inspired to go on to become a huge, a huge impact. So, what are some ways we can use faith to confront bullying, not only in school but outside of school as well? Well, we can really think about what is really right and what God would want us to do and just think about his plan for us and how to carry it out to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. You have to use like your faith as a guideline, I guess, and say like something like, what would Jesus do? I think you can pray to the Holy Spirit as well because the Holy Spirit will give you wisdom on how to approach the bully and tell them that what they're doing is not right. So like being Christian is actually our duty to not just stay like idle on the sideline and actually come in and help people because you never know if you help that per that one person that one time deal with like their bully. They could you could stop a shooting at a school or something even worse than that. Maybe if there isn't if there is anything any worse than that, you could you could literally have an effect on someone's life that could change like their entire life. Like I know the story where the kid was cleaning out his locker and the the kid asked to help him carry the books home, and just because that kid had helped him carry the books home, the, the kid was cleaning out his locker because so he was going to kill himself. That actually changed the kid's life because they became best friends. So like even a small thing like that can help change someone's life. So you really can't just stay there and just like you can't stand there on the sideline. You have to go in and help people. Yeah, it's important for us to stand together and respect one another because that's what makes up faith. In movies and television dramas, bullies are often portrayed as conflicted, nasty people with problems at home. But more and more, there are growing trends that accept bullying as a normal part of life. And to confront a bully requires one to defeat him or her through revenge or some physical altercation. On many reality shows, it is common to see people bullied until they are voted out. Or put into situations designed to provoke negative actions and behavior. When we see these things in the media, it can become harder for us to make solid choices about what is okay and what is not. Finally, our spotlight guest Brielle shares how we are all capable of bullying, even when we think it's unintentional. She also shares with us some examples in the media where bullying has unfortunately become an acceptable part of our culture. Help them stand up for themselves in a non-violent way or maybe anonymously tell a trusted adult, treat others how you would like to be treated because if you don't want to get made fun of, don't make fun of someone else. Sometimes you're joking around with a friend and really it hurts them and the joke gets taken too far and is really taken in a serious way. When I know I've hurt someone, I do eventually apologize because I realize what I did was wrong. I try to take back my words, which I know is impossible, but I tell them I just said it out of anger or I didn't mean it and they are better than what I've said. I think a lot of TV shows, even songs, mostly shows though, like you see how people act and respond to people and you see girls talking about each other and that makes you think like it's okay and you try to be like them because you think it's cool and everything when really it's not. Well, the media definitely has like an impact on what people do, how to respond to things. If they're put in like a sim similar situation, they would do as that actress or actor would do and that's not the right way because they're just acting it affects a lot of people on how they react to a lot of stuff. Especially reality shows we all think it's reality when really they're being coached. They're being told what to do and how to respond and what to say. So we're just following what they do and even adults act catty to each other because they see that's how people act on TV. And grown men, come at me bro, like no, we're not going to come at you. Like You're going to get hurt if you're saying that to the wrong people. And 
People want to be like them because they want to be famous and everything. I think the main idea is to believe in yourself and not let others strip you of your dignity and have confidence. Love yourself because this is how God made you and He made you this way for a reason so don't let others try to bring you down because they're just trying to gain power of you. It's not worth it and you're not worthless. Just believe in yourself and you'll overcome them. I totally agree with Brielle, as she was saying. Like, sadly, today in our society, like, people find bullying funny. Like, when they see it on TV, there's all those, like, reality shows and stuff, and it's like, oh, did you see that episode when they were, like, the one girl was saying that about the other girl? And it's like, people find that funny, but sadly, it's not. So, I think we need to change that. I have to agree. I, I think society tends to, like, go more towards things that, like, it might be funny for the, like, people that are watching, but it hurts the people that it's, like, affecting. So sometimes, like, they'll like make fun of a single person just to get their ratings up and they really shouldn't do that because it does affect that single person and it might actually make the people that are getting bullied in real life feel worse because they can relate to that person you know it's also creating like a bad influence because people see that they're acting this way and they think it's okay but it's really not because they're just making it up and it's just to get like you said more viewers or just make it look better but it's just not right and we also have to remember as like Christians and everything, we're called to stand up for what we believe and maybe stand up for others and what they believe in and try and like stop bullying. And also as children of God, we have every responsibility to treat others as we want to be treated. And to demand the respect our personal dignity deserves. We also have the responsibility to do as St. Paul wrote in his letter to Ephesians chapter four. All bitterness, fury, anger, shouting, and reviling must be removed from you along with malice. Be kind to one another, compassionate, forgiving one another, as God has forgiven you in Christ. Bullies also need to be shown compassion and forgiveness. Often their bullying does come from their own deep wounds. And our challenge as Christians is to have compassion, even for those who don't seem to deserve it. Who knows? Your kindness might just be what makes someone change their bad behavior and become a great friend. So in what ways are you helping others to overcome bullying in their lives? We'd love to hear from you. Contact us at realfaithtv.com. Or follow us on Twitter. And we'll leave you with this passage from Paul's second letter to Timothy. For God gave us a spirit, not of fear. But of power and love and self-control. So let's not abuse our power and always act with love. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Real, Real Faith, Faith TV. TV. God bless.